To understand entanglement, we have to first understand time. In the diagram above, the polarization or spin of the two photons are set at the creation of its own expanding quantum particle wave function. This will remain the same however great the distance between them becomes, because when their wave particle function collapses, it will represent the same moment in time for both photons. But what is a moment in time? We have no understanding of time at a fundamental level. Because of this, I have been working on my own theory called quantum atom theory. In quantum atom theory, the wave particle duality of light or electromagnetic radiation creates time itself. Time is being created continuously by electron photon couplings. When a quantum wave particle of light makes contact with an electron on the surface of an atom, there is a photon electron coupling. The wave particle function collapses into a new particle of light, creating a new moment in time. There is a quantum leap of energy, and two dimensional space on the surface of that atom will expand into three-dimensional space-time as a new expanding wave particle function of future possibilities of light. When this wave particle function comes in contact with the electrons of another object, the process will repeat itself again. This is a continuous process within our universe called stimulated emissions. In quantum atom theory, this process creates a time continuum, or arrow of time. We have entanglement because the photons will only have a position in time and space if the wave particle function collapses into a moment of time. If the quantum wave particle function does not collapse, the photons will only have the momentum of their own quantum wave particle function. Photons are moving through space, but not time, as an expanding quantum wave particle function. The polarization, or spin, will be set at the creation of that quantum wave particle function. This will remain the same, however great the distance between them becomes, because when their wave particle function collapses, there will be a photon-electron coupling, representing the same moment in time for both photons. In quantum mechanics, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth.